Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Man, oh man, here we go again. And what in the hovering uh, do we got going on here? This right here is the old Dirt Dauber Special. Look at those things, guys. She's got the best custom Dirt Daubers I've ever seen. They looked like they were practicing for their welding test, just stacking bead on bead on that rear end. Uh, this here's our old GMC. It come with my new place. And if you ain't seen it yet, we done did a will it run on this thing a couple weeks ago. And the whole, she'll run. In fact, she'll rip. That's her name, Lil Ripper. Cause that, that old 350, she just, now I would say she ran pretty good. She runs good, but we got a lot of smoke going on with this. We were shooting rats nests just for days. And still, every time I start it up, a little more rat's nest comes out of it. So, we didn't give this thing no tune-up. Oh yeah, we just got it running off of what's going on right there. What, whatever was on there, we, we slapped one spark plug on her and that's pretty much it. Uh, well, you know, we repaired a little here or there. Don't you worry about that. I don't think it's gonna hurt to tune it up any. And I don't think it's gonna hurt to do a few things to it. <clears throat> little tune-up uh some heat cycles guys but to to take it up into heat cycles i'd like to get a temp gauge on it where we know where we're sitting uh hey, hell is she gonna drive you know we know the transmission's leaking and uh we know that rear end's leaking if you don't believe me just have a little look see there she's leaking good uh we can get some of the crap out of it but guys i, I want to get this thing out of my shop so instead of just shoving it out, I figured we'd see if we could get it maybe where we could uh, drive it out. And then depending on how it's driving, maybe we'll try to game plan what we're gonna end up doing with this thing. You know, I, re I really don't know. Part of me uh, goes, you know what? This could be a decent truck, fix the bedside, cut it down, just squat it, build a cool little budget friendly muscle truck, shop truck, Super budget friendly C10, whatever you want to call it. Another side of me goes, Old Roy could use a good cab and front end and an engine. And that's what this one happens to have. So maybe we could combine her with a four wheel drive. And then another part of me just goes, you know what? Camouflage looks good on everything. And by everything, I mean these sweet t-shirts available exclusively at the www.puddingsfabshop.com. Don't worry, we are not slapping camouflage on this truck. I'm actually not a fan of camouflage on vehicles, uh, but I am a fan of it on t-shirts. Now this one, I left the sleeves on uh, because I may need to take my wife to like our wedding anniversary dinner or something. But I got another one I cut the sleeves off of where uh, you know I mean business. And you guys could see that also on the second channel uh, I put out a car show video where we built a trophy when we went to this car show and that's where I actually released these shirts. So I'm hoping there's some still in stock. And on top of all that, we're doing like a week or so little flash sale where we're trying to get rid of a lot of our little odds and ends where we can do some new releases. So just go to the website. There's a sale tab. When you add it to your cart, it automatically applies the discount. And of course, we appreciate all the support right there, guys. So if you feel like it, uh, subscribe to that second channel. I'm doing weekly videos over there too, guys. They're just usually shorter but sweeter. Uh, now, speaking of feel like it, let's see if this old thing wants to fire up. See if it feels like it. I think it's been probably four days since I've started it. I'm not even gonna touch the carburetor. Let's just see if she wants to play nice. Come on, baby. Ain't gonna do it. We'll see if one pump changes her mind. Uh-huh. I 
I heard it squirt fuel that time. Oh no, she did not transform into a motorcycle. That's not an exhaust leak. That is the lack of a spark plug in number two. <laughs> yeah, number two's missing. Uh, we took that spark plug to make a trophy for the car show. So according to our old compression numbers here, that's about 150 PSI uh, you just heard slapping out of there. Now, because I'm so smart, I lifted this thing about 12 foot up in the air uh, with the intentions of doing a tune up on it. So that's good. I got this baby a bag of goodies. I'm gonna start with some plug wires and some spark pluggers. I think it set our spark plug gap up here. Uh, did it? Spark plug gap? She's the .045. Everyone knows the ZD350 likes uh, eight degrees of timing and uh, about 600 RPMs on your curb idle and 1600 on the fast idle. Everybody knows that. I do not know if these come pre-gapped or not. We'll take a quick gander here. I'm gonna check this with my super foxy uh, snap-on gapper. She looks to be about 40, so we're gonna take her on out to 45 right there. Guys, I have three snap-on tools. This that a subscriber sent me, it's very nice. Just got these a gentleman gave me at the car show, and man, that's a set of I get a hold of you with that, you'll know it. I guarantee it. So we got the super duper pliers here. And then we got the one tool that was mine that wasn't, well, I would say it wasn't, it was donated. It was donated by a dumpster. Uh, I found this snap on quarter inch drive ratchet in a dumpster one time. So there's my one snap on tool that uh, I had. I hope you enjoyed that very uh, detailed and elaborate tour of all my snap-on tool collection there. Now, I'm not a guy who has to have this brand tool, that brand tool. Uh, I don't care if it's red or yellow. I just like the the tool that gets the job done, guys. The tool that gets the job done that I can afford, I should say. There we go. Got all eight ready to go in. Uh, I need to get my climbing gear on where we can get up in that rig. Maybe we can make that work and kind of crawl around here. Because uh, taking a truck off jack stands is just entirely too much work. Instead, we'll just struggle the whole day around that being up in the air. We're going to hit her with the fast tune-up. Oh, if only it was that easy. Now we're going to very gracefully uh, ease our way in here. Oh, <clears throat> got it. <clears throat> Don't worry, we're getting there. Here we go. Find a place to work that sketch or two. And pull off our old plug wires. I want to save our little clips there and that clip there now don't throw her out she's brand new but the rest of these can go to the garbage make sure she's on remove number two's already missing there's four There's number six. And two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Good old number eight. Another advantage to being this high in the air, guys, is where we are closer to the hotter air that traps up in the rafters 
are causing us to sweat even more, which is good to keep our uh, water system flowing. Next, we're gonna see if we can get these spark plugs started without cross-threading. Here's number two. See if we can get old number four. There's six. Gonna have to switch to lefty to get number eight started, maybe. Oh yeah, old lefty still got it. <laughs> Little torque will do. Now on our wheel at run, we had marked number one plug wire, as you can see right there. I was gonna slap those back on because it is running good, but you know what? Since we're in here, why don't we just pull that cap off and check the inside, make sure it ain't full of corrosion or nothing. We might as well. It would be a great time to have my pocket knife in my pocket where we had a flathead. But somebody took it out cutting up boxes. And throw them off to the side. And get these out our way. Having a few tools on stealthy standby here probably won't hurt nothing. Pop that. Oh, she's full of dirt. I think that one's plumb full of dirt too. She's crunchy. If anything, we'll at least get her cleaned up here. That sucker right there almost looks brand new. Yeah, she's a little corroded over there. Yeah, cap's a little corroded too in there. <clears throat> she's a little stubborn. You know, some... Some people like wearing a watch and it tells them how many steps they take a day. I prefer going up and down a ladder about 600 times uh, to get my steps in. I could have brought some scotch Brite or something with me to clean this. Hopefully y'all can see that corrosion on those. Before we climb down again, let's get all, all these old plug wires out of here. Oh, Number three just fell right off. There we go, got all them babies out the way. Gonna try to be better about cleaning up after ourselves as we go here. I'm gonna take these back to the parts house and tell them they look slightly used. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Get serious with them. Hey man, what kind of crap y'all trying to sell me here? <laughs> I didn't open that damn box. I don't know what y'all's talking about. Now you wanna put your one good one back up, okay? She's the keeper. Sometimes I can wiggle worm this down in there. I like it because it'll do the work for you. She cleaned up good down in there. Uh, it's not that we won't put a new cap on this. Just right now, I really want to see how much smoke's going to clear up on this engine before we just, you know, put new everything on it. She's Delco Remy, made in USA. She's, she's just getting started, all right? She's just now getting to her broke end point. We got this cap uh, tuned up ready to perform, but now we're gonna get her tuned up ready to win car shows and awards. And we're gonna use our so fresh and so clean all purpose cleaner by the Sweet Patina. Y'all know that's available at thesweetpatina.com and you just use that promo code on the screen. Now we're gonna swap out brushes. And as you see right there, this thing is practically rebuilt. She's ready to go. Uh, we probably just added at least 15 horsepower. As I was pulling them wires off, I noticed something. I noticed uh, the rats actually chewed our wires a little bit on here, which is actually impressive because underneath this whole hood, guys, that's the only place I've seen a nibbled wire. The wiring all looks in really good shape, actually. So in a situation like that, you just need some of this. Make sure none of the other ones are exposed and they're not. We're gonna do a wrap right here. We're gonna wrap that baby up. Then what the heck, we'll just get all three wires in there and that is guaranteed to work until it doesn't. Looks like they exposed our wire there and there too. If they wanna get crazy, we'll get crazy. Wrap them up and then the whole thing up. And when you crawl back up in here for the fifth time and forget uh, something to clean your rotor with, just use the threads of a spark plug, basically like an old file there. Oh, she'll run good now. Look at that ignition module. Yeah, it looks like someone's had to put a module in it and a rotor in it at some point. Don't replace that condenser though. She's fine, don't worry about it. She's gonna be ready to perform now. 
She's good. Now, let's get her plug wire sorted on this side, and we'll hop to this side. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That's your cylinders and your firing order in case you didn't know. So number two, we got a connector to number two. There we go. We're gonna do number eight next since we got a shorty. Boy, I think she's popping on there. Maybe she is, maybe she ain't. Number four. And lastly, number six. She's looking fancy. Most folks don't know it, but a master cylinder makes a perfect cheek pillow. Out with the old, in with the new. And please, Lord, don't let me drop any. <laughs> Got five on, and uh, guess who dropped number seven? Luckily, Hank just showed up. Perfect timing. You got a damn Mortsky shirt on? What is this? I wore yours the first Monday and Tuesday. Uh-huh. Hey, y'all think of someone who, who their own daughter don't even wear their shirt. They I wear... I your hoodie and your shirt yesterday. <laughs> Sounded like I brought out the old Wicked Witch of Pot County with that comment. <laughs> had to swap out my battery. Uh, people keep asking me how the camera was surviving in this heat and guys it ain't that battery uh, it they got all swollen up how to pry it out it's about the third one in the last two weeks the heat's been whooping them uh now luckily the heat is kind of disappearing now when i had my face up there on that master cylinder having that make out session or whatever we were doing uh i noticed something y'all see that split the other day when i killed the truck as it died i thought i heard a pretty pretty loud vacuum leak so Maybe that's it. When we when we fire her back up here, we'll check. Before we fire her up, though, uh, we've got a couple things we still want to do to it. Like me, I like having gauges, guys. Oil and water is all I really care about. Uh, we're going to slap these puppies on. That comes with some good top quality uh, plastic hose there. But your oil and your your temp, guys, that's like it's like going to the hospital. They probably want to know your blood pressure and your your temperature. Okay, so. We gotta keep an eye on the vitals here. Yep. Back in high school, they called me smooth. <laughs> that is not true. They probably called me obnoxious ass is what they called me. The current temp sensor is in a very convenient spot uh, right up underneath there. And I didn't know what size she is, but uh, looks like 15, 15 sixteenths. May, may have been a lucky guess. I'm gonna get this ready to go. And we're gonna slap some thread tape on our adapter kit. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. Oh, she's coming. Oh, we're flowing now. And you wanna just get right up in there with your finger plugger <laughs> after you lose half your fluid okay then you find it then we're gonna work our adapter in and then we're gonna get this in and at this point uh we're basically pissing in the wind on trying to stop our fluids see that shiny brass uh, we can get to that from up here to tighten that and i got her pretty tight already a little extra never hurt it never hurts until your little extra is a little too much and then you gotta dig that crap out of your engine but we should be good to go there for the temp gauge you don't think that connection right there is maybe why our uh, temp gauge wasn't reading good do you don't matter now that's gonna read now our oil here i see a little uh junction union uh whatever block you call it right here here we go. Well, dang it. We ain't got the right fittings here, guys. Eh, the oil gauge is working, guys. Now, obviously, I don't know the exact oil pressure, but we know she's got it. Basically, what I'm saying is, uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> After that top quality gauge install, we're probably gonna need to top off our coolant here. 
And by coolant, I do mean we're just going to top her back off with water for now. Just a little more so we can top her off when we fire her up. Uh, speaking of fluids, let's check the oil. Pull that there. Look how dark the back side is and look at the front side. It's weird. Now keep your oil rag just hanging right there. Okay, that way you're always ready to clean. And as you guys seen, uh, that thing is very full. We're probably going to have to drain some of that out because we have right here engine restorer it engine restorer it, engine restorer with csl most people don't realize that csl stands for uh compression saving love juice and obviously it's a lubricant this stuff is the eight cylinder formula to restore compression restore horsepower restore engine life and reduce oil consumption. You just add her to engine oil. Independent test proves that Restore works to inc increase compression in high mileage engines if your car has over 100,000 miles. Uh, we ain't even looked to see if this thing has. Uh, who knows? I don't know. Someone said in the comments they used Engine Restore. I thought, but I, I thought they said it was made by Lucas and I didn't say anything made by Lucas. Uh, but you know what? Why don't we just try it anyhow? Oh, she is not formulated for use in Ford Power Stroke diesels. So you better not be slapping her in there. You'll be pulling that cab before you know it. <laughs> now also, a lot of people is worried because I don't have no zinc in there. We gotta add zinc or we're gonna lose the cam lobes, okay? So I bought some zinc for this baby just to make people happy. 1996 and older you just slap a whole bottle in the crankcase we'll take it 27 ounces total i think there's 32 ounces in a quart maybe we ain't gotta lose quite a quart but we need to do kind of close guess who happens to have a empty jug right there let's get us a funnel and let's go make a mess oh she's ready to come play Oh, down the arm we go. Oh, it's making another mess. It's all right. Coming fast. All right, that should be about it. There we go. Only a slight mess on that job. Depends on how you define a slight mess, I guess. That plug back in, she's ready for some uh, horsepower in a can, is basically what that thing said. Of course, she's a damned old Chevrolet with high compression and high horsepower so it's basically like a power adder almost like a turbo or turb you know supercharger there it is supercharger in a can oh luckily for me i just uh, poured half of that down the side of the, the engine so that was real smooth that's good considering that stuff was super cheap fool me once shame on you fool me twice uh we'll just grab a funnel this time how's that now we're going to hit her with the old love juice. Oh, that stuff is dark, dark blue. Huh. Oh, may have forgot to do the shake well first. <laughs> they must keep some good stuff in the bottom. We got to get mixed up or something. We're going to ditch the funnel and just go for it. Who's ever used this stuff? Good, bad? Shouldn't have used it. Good thing we did use it. What do y'all think? The only thing I think is that I made a mess and a half on this engine. We can give her the brake clean overhaul. That'll help run that crap off the exhaust manifold anyhow. Maybe reduce our smoke show just a bit. Uh, now speaking of smoke show, we were shooting rat's nest out of that exhaust like crazy. I don't know how much crap's in that exhaust, but it keeps coming out, so I, I may have grabbed something for this old girl. What in the thrush muffler we got going on here? She's the Hush Thrush Universal. 
Oh, she's the big old three incher. Look at that. About the high flow edition, because we can't be restricting that old 350. She's got three quarter racing cam with 305 heads to bump the compression a little bit. Uh, so we don't want to hold her back any. But seriously, uh, I want to cut that exhaust off there because I feel like we should cut it off there. <laughs> so all that comes back right here into our Y pipe. And then she runs back here to our muffler. Shoot, I think we're gonna cut her right here. Okay, there, saw's all ready to go. We're gonna protect them eyeballs and protect them ears. You don't want to be deaf when you're 40. much as crap kept coming out of here, that muffler had to been pretty packed, guys. Them dirt daubers just hit everything on this truck. Oh, I guarantee she'd flow now. You want me to rack them straight pipes? Huh? Romp on it? We better not. I don't want to get in trouble by mama. <laughs> yeah, she may be a little big. Don't worry. We'll get this baby lined out. We need to... Tune this end down to about two and a half inches. We could go get a reducer, but oh no. We'll just give her the, the slit to fit. Simply take your slice and dice, grab that old muffler and choose which end you'd like to do the slit. Then you start marking that baby out, cutting chunks, beating her down, welding her up till you get her to fit. Don't forget, earmuffs. Do what? Now I didn't do the best evenly spacing my tiger stripes around there, so I just kinda eagle-eyed it on a couple of them. Next, you wanna get you a nice worm clamp, good size. We're gonna slowly sink that down so it comes in nice and even. Just smack them down and basically build a turbine. Damned old nozzle cone right there. That way we funnel all that propulsion. We should be pretty close right in there. We may take her for a test fit. Oh, we're pretty close. Absolutely nothing wrong with this technique. As long as you're like evil Knievel and willing to jump some gaps. And I mean gaps. There we go. Most folks don't know it. I actually learned my welding technique uh, from dirt daubers. They just lay them big old fatties going back and forth, back and forth. So that's what I did over here on these. Now the inside, don't worry about that. Those things actually act like uh, turbine blades. Y'all remember them things they sold? You put it in your intake and it, it spins in there. It's a little fan. It creates an Oklahoma tornado to go down through your motor. Well, now we're going to create an Oklahoma tornado to come out that exhaust and uh, push you along for extra ponies on the ground. Kind of eagle-eyed us about an eighth inch. Gave it a quick trim job. I'm hoping that gives us enough to make her slip fit again. Well, well, well. Look who wants to play games with my old welding helmet. You wanna tango with me? You wanna tango with me? Let's just say that wasp is no longer with us, okay? All right, we're gonna try to tack this thing on where we want it, cause it kinda fits tight. Then we may try to cut this clamp and drop that down where we can weld it. She slips right on. Pretty decent welds on that. She's pretty solid. I did crawl up there and turn up our uh, metal gluer just a hair.
ignition tune-up, oil tune-up, temperature gauge, muffler. I can't think of anything else I was wanting to do, guys. Uh, let's fire this thing up. Maybe we'll spray around and look for vacuum leaks on it. We ain't really checked for them yet. Let's see what this whole hot rod sounds like now. sure sounds better when you're revving it up guys uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how that sounds let's go ahead and top off our water temp gauge is rising so that's good now she is a little smoky still guys I don't know how much the camera picks it up but this engine is smoking now, of course, if we were driving and doing a buck 20 down the interstate, you wouldn't hardly be able to tell there was smoke. But because the shop catches it, uh, you can tell. So when we go to refill our gas tank, because she's about out, maybe we'll do some sea foam in this baby too. I'm kind of hoping with heat cycles, sea foam, our engine restorer, uh, maybe, just maybe, the exhaust will clear up a little bit. And that's also why I wanted to cut that rat packed muffler off there too. Spraying that carburetor and the vacuum lines is a little tricky because it is idling up a little bit. So we have a little vacuum leak somewhere, but I can't tell if it's the base of the carburetor or all them little vacuum hoses. She's creeping up on a buck 80. Did you hear her almost die? I pulled on my hose that's going from our PVC and our uh, valve cover to the front of the carburetor, that sucker popped right off. That's right where our vacuum leaks kinda, I, th I think that may be our vacuum leaks what I'm trying to say. Well, hell, I was going to have you guys watch and tell me if it was smoking or not, but I believe we ran out of uh, Get Her Done 91 here. <laughs> Gotta say, guys, I'm really impressed. So the day after I got this running, I sent a video of it to the guy who I bought the place from. And I didn't ask him any about them vehicles or whatever. He said I could have them with it, whatever. I sent him a video of it, just say, hey, I got your old truck running. Uh, I noticed the heater core is leaking. I noticed there's a big old leak on the rear end. Is that why you parked it? And he said, we parked it because no one ever drove it. In fact, he said he had a title that he would get to me. I could have the title to the dang thing, guys. Uh, so he said, probably 13 years ago, they just quit driving it. And uh, he said he's towed trailers to Colorado with it. He got sideswiped in Texas with it. If you don't believe me, just ask that bedside, guys. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas, including sideswiping dents. Yeehaw, boys. But also, you may notice the wheels and tires are missing. I need a good set of rollers for these anyhow, no matter uh, what road we decide to go down with this truck. So yesterday, uh, with the help of Hot Rod, I got these wheels and tires pulled off and Here's kind of a flashback scene of all that yesterday. Uh, I do believe our tires are in, so let's go ahead and get these pulled off where uh, we can drop them off as we go to do what we gotta do. You helping today or what? What's wrong with them tires? Flat. 
Oh, you want to help daddy? See these? Spray them all. There we go. That's good. You stay home from school, you get put to work, girl. Good job, baby. I'll start scraping if I have to. What's wrong with this side? Curve ball? We got a cap. Got there we go. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> Look at that spider. Where? You see a spider? Oh, it ran, ran there on the back side. Look at these dirt daubers. Oh, no. All right. How about we blow it off? No, you do that. Shh. <laughs> no, not with that. Hold on. Things are about to get real serious, so you better cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. Look. Oh, found that <laughs> elbow. <laughs> All right, where's my luby dooby expert? Here. Yep. Here. Yeah, hey, do it with this bad boy. Yeah. Here. Daddy uh, ripped the pull start off that. Oh. Too strong. You think this one's going to be nasty too? Maybe. Maybe I think it might be nastier. Might be nastier. That's pretty nasty. You see the spider? Where? Where? Oh! I right. can. Back up. Here comes the mess. <laughs> Put that back. There we go. Now we need a socket. Socket is one of those. We'll try that one. Pull it. Nope. Spin it around. See? Try it like that. Oh yeah, that's money. No. <laughs> Someone done made her angry. How's the truck looking? Pretty level? For me? Yeah. Looks like it's flying. That's fair to say. Check test. She good. You wanna try if this? If you guys see your earmuffs, go get your earmuffs. It's gonna get loud in here. Woo! You try one? Yes. See that trigger? Yeah. Keep going. There you go. Oh yeah. You know what a donkey is? Most folks don't know these trucks came with a high-speed racing brakes. You can see the vents right there that actually helped cool these. Them dirt daubers laid a beat around this whole sucker. Look at that. Oh, 
Shoot, she's got good brake pads, looky there. And we got custom wheel weights all the way around on all the wheels. That old humidity ain't playing around today. We're gonna go uh, do what we gotta do and get done what we gotta get did. So, we got them dropped off and uh, we got another run. I found a cool sign, you wanna see it? Boom, there it is. Do y'all know what my lucky number is? Uh, it's 77. I do have the pinion seal here, so maybe we'll take a quick little look-see at that. Now, I know we got dirt daubers everywhere underneath there, so. We're just gonna go prepared to clean them up. Shoot, we'll even start on our uh, custom drums there. Oh, uh, it's dirty in there, but that ain't too bad looking. Crazy how much crap just came out of there. Dust, spiders, spiders, and spiders, and, and the spider's web, okay? I ain't even touched a brake pedal in this truck yet to have any idea, but I am hoping we're gonna get away with just having to uh, rebuild these with the air compressor, aka okay, blow them off, and maybe just bleed the brakes. I mean, look at those right there. You can tell they're not terribly old. What we got right there, classic double nut on the ball joint. There we go. Wow. Finished up with a little Lysol wipe disinfectant bath here, and uh, maybe we'll be ready to crawl underneath there and see if we can change the pinion seal like I tried to do an hour ago. So there's one side. Dome light works on this baby, by the way. Uh, let's take her to neutral for some drive shaft spin in action. Now that bolt looks like it's facing that away, and that one looks like it's facing that away. She may have the crooked eyes going on. She looks like she's been whooped on, too. Hit her with a palm strike. Ow! Here she comes. Uh-oh. We lost a cap. Caught some of the needles, anyhow. Of course, we swept up and cleaned up, so you know we got to make a mess still. Oh, yeah, there we go. First, I'm going to eagle eye me a mark with my marker. Then, I'm going to come in with my punch. Give her one more here. So, I got a mark right there and a mark right there, and we know we can see two full threads. I put me a mark on my socket to help me count here. There's one. There's two.
just about six and a half turns. Next, we gotta see if we get this baby pulled off here. I don't think brake flaring is gonna help us. We may be able to get her done with the steering wheel puller. Yeah, bolts ain't long enough and she ain't quite wide enough. Add one ounce per gallon. One ounce. Uh, close enough. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. It's been trusted by mechanics since 1942. Well, in that case, we'll give her a couple more ounces. How's that? Get her prime back up here. Uh, I needed to get some bolts to finish doing our pinion seal, whatever, for the puller. So we got some gas this morning. May have got our wheels and tires picked up. But before we do that, I want to take this baby through another heat cycle. What the hey? I'm the only person who could throw that at a bed that big and somehow land it over here. I noticed that time when we started it, we didn't get the initial big burst of cloud of smoke. Uh, it started up pretty clear. What it's been doing is you start it, you get a cloud, then it clears up, but when you rev it up, you really smoke her out. I seen it smoking a little bit, but don't forget, we got a fairly decent amount of seafoam in our gasoline. She's definitely clearing up some. Warm on up, baby, warm on up. Woo! That old exhaust is smoking good right there. Did you see that? It looked like it blew out some dust, dirt, or something. Probably what's left us some rat's nest down in there trying to catch on fire. Uh, I did turn the fan on, uh, raving on it a lot. I mean, we were starting to get smoke built up in here again. I didn't say the smoke is gonna, I didn't say it's gone completely. It did uh, lessen up though. And that was another good successful uh, heat cycle right there. The hottest I could get it was 185, and that was revving on it a lot. Just letting it sit there and idle, it dropped right back down to 180. Hey yo, I didn't figure there'd be any left to drain out. Just made a slight mess there, no big deal. There she goes. She feels good. She don't feel crunchy or nothing. Oh, I think I see where it was leaking. It was leaking right there. Really, it seems dry and brittle. I bet it had probably one crack in it. So I guess our new seal don't have this front lip edge. Or maybe they gave us the wrong one. Uh-huh. We just lost power, and this is the wrong seal. Good thing is, I just found us a part number. So I'm gonna see if the parts house have, has this. And it's pretty well impossible to record with no light because the footage becomes crap. And I'd shove her outside if it wasn't raining. But damn it, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> Good news, power's back on and we got the right seal. I think they just wanted to see my pretty face so they sold me an axle seal instead or something. I don't really have what I need, but I do have a hole saw here that may kind of sort of work. Don't worry about all them burrs, the seals in here, baby. <laughs> Get the old puller off the yoke and uh, We'll looby dooby here just a little bit and should be ready to go back on. Just scrub her with the cleanest rag you got. I 
We're gonna give her a few love taps and uh, get her splines back on. We're gonna slap her nut back on and this is where I'm gonna pay attention to our little, I just spit on myself. Pretty sure I just uh, spit on myself. Uh, we're gonna pay attention to our little marks here. I know I counted turns the other day. Uh, I just ran this down till I got our two full threads here. Now our mark on the nuts a little bit before that, so we gotta get it lined up. So I'm just gonna love tap it till I get it happy. We're close. One more. I think we're pretty well perfect. So there's a mark right there and you can kind of see it on our nut there. She'll seal or she won't. Uh, let's clean up our mess and we'll spray this baby down with some brake clean. At least if you learned anything, it's that a hole saw is really good at uh, tearing up a new seal. The best advice I can give for changing opinion seal is just don't do it how I did. As long as you do that, you should be okay. You wanna soak your batteries every once in a while in some type of oil that helps keep the plastic hydrated and keeps it from getting brittle. She's basically ready for the truck pulls at this point. This U-joint, however, is not, so we need to get our cap kinda lined out here. Looks like we'd pop six of them out of there. Little shot of fresh grease never hurt. What's that you ask? Don't we service the whole U-joint? Uh, we certainly do not. Oh, that thing is crunchy. Slap that cap on. That may help her a little bit, but it ain't gonna help her a lot of bit. If we, uh, we drive this baby a whole lot, eventually we'll be changing that, I guarantee it. That old drive shaft back into place. Now lastly, but not leastly, we need to service this old rear end. As you worry about recording, you want to kick over uh, your, your jug here. Between wrong parts, kicking over gear oil, uh, losing power, using whole sauce to change pinion seals. I feel like we can only go uphill from here, guys. The crap that came out of it uh, didn't look bad, you know, didn't smell all burnt, whatever. So we'll just top her back off. Now, since we're on a roll of making a mess, uh, we may not use that cap for our zinc additive, but we'll uh, swap that cap to our 80 90 here and see if we can't make a bigger mess you don't want it smelling just like old gear oil you got to mix her up with some fresh we're gonna pop that on there whoa give me a wolf uh she fresh smells like pickled butthole no oh, i think we got her service now And D-U-N, let's call that job done. Man, plan on getting more done than a pinion seal today. But sometimes, that's how life goes. I think she wants the rest of this sea foam is what she's asking for. See that smoke now i guarantee it <laughs> now clearly she's smoking more i, I really am hoping that's because we got you know basically a can of sea foam to one gallon of gas uh which ain't gonna hurt it uh but i'm hoping that's what's causing more smoke today than we had yesterday yesterday was a crap show guys uh y'all know i always got stuff going on behind the scenes so i got a I got some more stuff delivered to the new shop, which is gonna be a, another update in the future, which is good. Something I really wanted for the shop. 
We got to unload it in the pouring rain, so that was fun. I looked underneath here and she don't look like she's leaking any, so that's good. She looks like she's leaking, so uh, we probably lost our seal there. Uh, we ain't gonna worry about that for now. But our transmission, uh, it looked like it was leaking too. And you see old floppy here. I can't imagine that's why it's leaking. I don't know nothing about these, so I don't know if we can take that off and fix something or what. Speedo cable's just finger tight, so we can pull it real easy. That looks like it threads onto that. That looks like it's just retained by that little clip here. I don't know. Let's pull that and see what we find. Now imagine when I go to pull this, we're going to start losing transmission fluid. Maybe, maybe not. Well, she pulled right out and we ain't lost nothing yet, so that's good. So that being a O-ring sealed in there, it makes sense why it was a little floppy, especially with how it retains. Uh, so that probably was not our leak then. Well, maybe that O-ring is a little flat. We'll get an O-ring for her, and these are good O-rings. They're good enough for a Lamborghini. Good enough for a Mazda Rowdy. Good enough for a MC Laren. Porsche, Bentley, Jaguar, high end is what I'm trying to tell you. That's what these are, high end. You want to take that, whip it. Take her for a test fit here and see how she rides. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, you know what? I guess it could be leaking over on this side too. That does make sense. Don't y'all worry about them wheels and tires. Don't worry about them. You, you ain't seen nothing. You only see what I want you to see because I'm good, all right? I'm on top of it, unless I make a mistake. Then you see what I don't want you to see, but we're not gonna talk about that. So it looks like there's a little rubber seal down in there and there's quite a bit of fluid in there. So maybe in there is uh, where we're leaking. Well, the good news is apparently that is uh, stripped. So that's great. Slap that cable back on and I do not believe we did that any kind of good if I'm being honest. To drive, what do you need? You need an engine, you need a transmission, and you need a rear end that'll get you going in forward or reverse, one way or another. And I think we have all that. Uh, now do you have to have brakes to drive? No you do not. You've got to have them to stop. It's not a require requirement to go. Now that being said, uh, I do enjoy stopping after get, getting going. I don't see any leaks on the brakes or anything like that, but I have yet to mess with the brakes. So, fingers crossed we got a, uh, may, maybe we get away with just bleeding them or something. I bought us about a gallon's worth yesterday. Uh, let's see if our old pedal's locked up. Oh no, she's moving already. She, she's moving, but she feels like she has a pedal. Holy crap. What we got here, five sixteenths? You mean a, a pry bar? Whoa, crap, that was smooth, real smooth. That stuff looks like Dr. Pepper, okay? I'm not saying it's the best brake fluid. Don't mind all that, that's just a, a, a slight spill, a little, little splash for character. There it goes, some good old American XT, a.k.a. the Dollar Store Special. We will top her off, how's that? And for now, if it works, it works. We'll try it. Oh, there we go. Slap our drums on right here and maybe some wheels and tires and see if this thing wants to drive. So check out these rattle can specials. Uh, my boys over at the Hebdens, they always take care of me. They got me a good deal on some white walls here. And uh, I take them a couple cans of rattle can with it. And I don't know how much prep work they do, but you can see what the back looks like. You can see what the front looks like. And don't be fooled, you're thinking he's got these fancy wheels and tires. He's definitely keeping this truck. No, I needed good rollers, guys. And you're thinking new tires for rollers? I literally hate fight, fighting old tires, okay? I'd rather buy one good set of tires and never get rid of them. So these are not as nice as our other ones because usually I actually have them sandblasted and painted with a little bit better paint than rattle can, but they are undoubtedly gonna make this truck look better. Paint still feels a little tacky. Don't worry about that. 
Y'all know what they say, a four won't hold it, five never woulda. Now we put a damn set of Iron Man's on this. This baby's heart's about to light up and she's gonna plumb fly, I guarantee it. <laughs> she don't come from money, oh no. Quite opposite, she come from nothing. And through hard work and not giving up, look at her now, Trailer Park Iron Man. Oh, it's not Iron Man, it's Iron Man. I can't make Iron Man jokes, guys, because I, I don't know nothing about Iron Man other than he's allegedly rich and the suit is red and yellow. He copied his colors from McDonald's, that's what I know. Now, Iron Man likes the green and white, okay? Just doing that, I can hear fluid shooting back. Let's check our power steering fluid since I could hear that kind of shooting back in there. I got a little power steering fluid anyhow. We'll give her a little bit to make her happy. Uh, I don't know when our funnel got bent like that. What the heck? <laughs> Y'all's in trouble now. I got the professional driver. How long you been driving Vroom Vrooms? 27 years, he says. What's that? Vroom. Vroom, vroom. Tire? Tire? Brakes dragging. That's what that is. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. And before you ask, no, that is not my son. I know someone's gonna ask it. She came in this shop, hopeless, forgotten, down on her luck. And now she emerges, ready to whoop tail and look good doing it. But look how dirty it is in here, guys. We're gonna at least clean that out where we're not breathing all that crap in there. Stay hydrated, okay? And honestly, I'm probably just going to rip the seat cover off to get all that trash. Old Firestone calendar. May have caught on fire at one point. You got to have that old back window trim for up there. So I know some of y'all really like these spids, so here you go where you can have fun looking all that up. Oh, shoot! We made bank on this, baby! Oh, that ain't it, though. All right, don't count my change first, all right? Count my change. Hopefully we got enough here for a paint job. Well, we're making big time money today. Just ditch that carpet. You don't need it anyhow. Uh, I think that's good enough to do a little test around the driveway anyhow. Oh, baby. Brake check. Now she ain't the smoothest filling brakes in the world. A uh, little stiff, but for not doing no work to them, that ain't me complaining, I promise. The uh, engine obviously responds good. We do need to check that one vacuum leak. And transmission, the little bit I've gone so far, feels pretty good. She seems to ride like a dang old Cadillac. Hey, now speaking of transmission, uh, let me tell you about it. Now in the Will It Run video, I checked our transmission fluid. And if y'all remember, uh, it's just as pink as can be. So I told y'all I'd talk to the previous owner, and he said, believe it or not, that transmission probably only has 5,000 miles on it since it was rebuilt. So that explains why that transmission fluid looks so good. Uh, and speaking of looking good, it's a shame this side's beat up because this side looks pretty good. She is not a bad look. Yeah, get that American flag in there. You damn right. Get her in there. Uh, I pulled on this other day when it was running, and that basically fell off there. I think that may be our small vacuum leak right there. So this uh, shiny new piece of 3 8 will get her done. <laughs> what a rig. Let's slap an air cleaner on it before we get too buck nasty. Don't worry, we only want her breathing premium quality air. If this don't tell you I like this truck, I don't know what does. 
How many vehicles have you seen me put an air filter on, huh? You answered not very many. That's a correct answer. Gotta keep some of the filth out, out of there anyhow. What y'all say we go cruise this jalopy? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, that camo hat and them glasses, you look perfect for that truck. Well, that is close to true. Guys, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Now, we look perfect for that truck. I'm gonna run down to the feed store. I'll be right back. truck up i just don't think we're gonna hurt the truck doing this guys <laughs> uh, now realize this okay just to record that little thing i recorded i probably stopped and went like 10 times moving the camera working the camera whatever so i've already done that a lot and i'm impressed now that is the warmest i've got her so far we may be able to turn that idle down she kind of sounds like she's idling high saying it with the bed cleaned out will kind of help me visualize what what we're doing with this truck check this out someone sent me some lowering springs those are for like a 67 to 72 he also sent me these things yeah i, I don't know about that guys there's our old 2006 tag Let's go throw this crap out and we'll go from there. This thing seems like a good truck. Uh, I'd say as a whole, 100%, it has required the least amount of work out of any of our vehicles so far on the Will It Run or Will It Drive. Easy. And it's probably the best running driving out of most of them anyhow. We're gonna pull up here next to old Blue 42. When we cleaned up that one time, I threw some T-posts back here. I don't think a few more is going to hurt back there. Now, these that are beat up pretty bad. We kind of got a scrap metal pile going over here. Will it run? Yes. Will it drive? You damn right. But will the tailgate drop? every time the last few ones you want to you want to happy gilmore that sucker careful you don't want to mess up your bedside bed floor is in good shape uh we do have some rust right there it looks like and other than that little piece she ain't shabby camera died but we got her cleaned out we put all of our parts we want to keep back in that thing and yeah it's kind of cool to see her with the bed cleaned out oh look what decided to start working and we may 
might give her an acceleration check. Get it, girl. Oh, she's getting fuck nasty. <laughs> hey, she, she's got a little ump. Uh, I hope we did not just throw a rock through the glass of the travel off. That'd be rather unfortunate. We may not throw a rock through the travel all, uh, but we did throw a toolbox out the back. When they want to eat, you got to let them eat, guys. You can't hold them back. Oh, we threw some big rocks too. Good thing we didn't hurt the travel all. I didn't even know we started all the way back here. Holy crap, guys. Honestly, I'm not used to having anything with compression or power. <laughs> but if she wants to play hard, We'll go play hard. It is a little bumpy, but she is getting it. Uh, but she just went right up there and died. <laughs> What's wrong, old girl? When you do that with them quadrajets, you pull so many G-forces that you force the fuel through the carburetor and you'll flood it. For being the low compression engine, nothing spectacular. She's still got good power, guys. I cannot believe someone sent these. Who in their right mind would wear those? Now maybe it's just me, guys. Maybe it's just me. I don't know if it's putting these on or what, but this thing feels even faster. I think putting these bibs on was like giving it a shot of nitrous oxide. You know what it probably is? The uh, truck itself is so scared of these white legs, it's trying to get away from my white legs. That's what it is, nitrous oxide. Oh, she's a ripper. <laughs> Coming in hot. We gotta be careful going off road with this thing. We don't wanna tear it up. I'm having fun with it, but I don't wanna break it, guys. Old spare rack may be hanging. That's all right, we can fix her up real quick. Yeah, we had to break in the new tires, guys. Uh, you know, Ford has the dent side, and then Chevy has the whammy side, and that's what we got right here. And uh, these are ridiculous. <laughs> but, hey, wearing these inspired me to roast the tires. Uh, that's our first real burnout out here at the new shop, and I didn't get plumb crazy. But it's also a way to test to see if the engine's gonna get hot, and she ain't getting hot, so. Guys, overall, she gets the PP. That's the put and pass stamp of a approval. Approval. These things do look ridiculous, right? Or do they look pretty good, huh? Huh? No, I think they look ridiculous. But this truck, I'm liking it, guys. Especially this side. Uh, I wish I could tell y'all knew what we were going to do with it still. Uh, but I still don't know. I think we've got a good enough engine to trust for a little bit. And uh, I think as a whole... We've got a really decent truck. I think we could drive it with minimum effort put back into it. And what I mean by that is we still need to get it on a regular gas tank. And uh, we'd check, you know, get all of our lights and stuff like that working. Make sure just everything's working on it. We could combine this still with our four-wheel drive that needs a better cab and a good engine. Uh, we could slap a bedside on this. Or we could slap a hood on it and a seat cover on it and drive the damn thing as is. So we're gonna park this thing out here. That's cause next week we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on the half haul. And uh, anyhow, we don't want this in our way. So will it drive? Yes, it actually drives like surprisingly well. Like really, really well guys. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget them camouflage 
shirts are on the website hopefully they ain't sold out yet maybe you can get you one and uh we ain't gonna be selling these anytime soon so don't worry probably be the last time you get to see me in these babies and uh yeah i gotta go get kiddos guys so i appreciate y'all watching i'm on the instagram or patreon all that good stuff be sure to check out the second channel we've been putting out weekly content over there puddin's fab shop too and i will see you guys next week but don't forget sitting on your ass won't finish your project and uh we got a project operation go pick up kiddos real quick